Hey y'all, I'm Lindsay and this is Organically Designed and if you like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Find Below, Target Dollar Spot hauls, this is the channel for you. I do these regularly because the items that I find in the stores on a budget, I do my organizing, cleaning, and creating from. So you'll see those videos as well. Um, I do a lot of stuff with hacks when it comes to cleaning and organizing. So I am slowly growing my channel um, just like I'm growing my social media. So you can see even more things that I do on my Instagram at organically underscore design underscore and my Facebook page organically designed is where I do a lot of my weekly challenges and things. But today I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all, so we're gonna get into that. I am also slowly working on a giveaway. I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna do it. I'm trying to hit like a milestone with YouTube subscribers when I get to it, but let me show you what I'm going to be filling up to get there. I have a collapsible tote that I absolutely love and this is off of Amazon this has nothing to do with this Dollar Tree haul but um, some things that I get on my Dollar Tree hauls and my other hauls you'll probably find in here along with some of the things that I've created will be in these so let me get this open this is a tote collapsible tote and I have one in gray and I absolutely love it but this is actually because I love it so much look at how big this is this is actually what I'm going to be filling up for one of y'all um so I'm just not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing it like I said I'm going to slowly gather stuff and put it in there um, as I find things, especially when it comes to like organizing, cleaning, and creating, um, because those are the three main things that I do. So let's get into the actual haul, and I will talk to y'all more about that giveaway later on in some of my other videos. So y'all keep a lookout for that. Um, a couple of organizing things that I have found. They've, they've had these before, these low circular bins. I just picked up another one of these. I like these. Um, you can use it as a catch-all tray. I ha already had like a metal tin one that I got from Dollar General as my catch-all tray. But I like these um, for putting things in and taking it where it needs to be, needs to go. Or like, like say I'm working on a project, I can keep it in here. The same thing with these. These are a little bit deeper. I've used the gray ones that are a little higher and smaller in my linen closet organization that y'all can find on my channel. I'll try to link it below as well. But I picked up three of these. These are actually clear. And I hadn't seen the clear ones. I've seen other colors though. So I picked up those because I like those for sorting projects, stickers, things for each of my kids when I'm shopping. So but we'll get into one of these bags these are like super super full so let me get this prepared okay so I have my chair with my bag on it next to me okay so this is kind of a little a bit of everything okay and so some things were on my wish list and some things I have tested out already so um, I've seen the gold and silver ones, but I haven't seen the black one. Okay, so this is just a, um, little display easel you can use for pictures, um, little things like that. I actually got it for my phone, um, if I'm doing a recipe or something like that, or watching something on my phone, I can put my phone on this. They also have, like, a larger size that you could use for a cookbook or your tablet. So I picked up one of those in black and then I got the Goody brand, which there's only like one of the many stores that I go to that actually find name brand hair products in. And so I hadn't been to that one in a while. So I snagged these up. We're all blonde here. So that's great. And then I saw a couple people that I follow 
Um, so like Peyton Rose, I saw her and she said she has like sensitive ears, but she tried some of their fashion jewelry. I don't know, like the sun is gonna give it a glare. And so I wanted to try these tortoise shell hoops, kind of like in a geometric hoop. So I wanted to try those because she said she has sensitive ears and it didn't bother her. So I'm going, this is one thing I haven't tested out yet, but I will because I don't like heavy earrings and they're super lightweight. So let's see. Then this is another something I can never find hard candy products anywhere. I may try to go into Raleigh one time and like go to a bunch of theirs and find some, but I did find some at the Dollar Tree that I hadn't been in in a while. The only thing they had there was the hard candy Fox in a Box Glamorous Glamour Girl highlighter. So I picked up two of those and I guess it's scented because it has a pina colada scratch and sniff. But I picked up one for my daughter and then I'm probably going to put the other in the giveaway bag. So, got two of those. And then, okay, and I've already tested these out today. These had new stickers on them. So, this is Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick. And this is in 960 Honey Glaze. And... If you can see that color, I'll swatch it too. So, let's see if it'll pick it up. So, it's kind of like a rose gold coppery color. Really pretty though. I have it on right now. I have really dark red lips, so sometimes like the metallic stuff doesn't work great with me. I normally keep with like mops. Um, and then I also picked up, which I'm, I'm loving this one. This is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Cream Liquid Eyeshadow and this is 572 Putty in My Hands. And I actually put that on today and it's a very like light nude color. This is what the container looks like and this also had a new sticker on it again I've already opened them and tested them out and this has kind of like a little bit of a rose undertone to it I don't wear a ton of makeup I normally do mascara and something on my lip and my eyebrows and then every now and then a shadow and I to be honest, I don't think I've ever used like a liquid eyeshadow, but this goes on really, really lightweight. It's not sticky at all. And um, loving the little bit of tint of color that it gives. So yeah, if y'all can find those, pick those up. Um, and then, so, okay. So this is the Spa Naturals Luxury Collection Aromatherapy Shower Fizzies 4-Pack. I'm super disappointed because they have the Eucalyptus Spearmint and I love Eucalyptus Spearmint and I tested this out. I, can't, I couldn't smell anything. Not a dang thing. Nothing. So I would not recommend this. If for some reason me... Putting two in there will work. Like I barely got a scent out of one and it dissolved within just a few minutes. So, um, I didn't like it. So I wouldn't buy this, but, so that's kind of like a dud there. Um, my daughter, she tried this one. Bath Crystals, the Hibiscus Rose. And this is by the Bolero Beverly Hills. Okay, so this was this was good. The scent, I'm not a strong floral scent person. Um, I like the mint, but it has a strong scent. <clears throat> and she said it made the water soft and actually lasted a good while in the tub. The scent did. 
So this I would recommend. And they have the, it's like the chamomile, it's in the green package like this, but they have the chamomile one too. So I'm, I know I'm kind of late on the on bus for that one because this, this they kind of had set out with the like Mother's Day stuff. So I'm kind of late on that one, but I wanted to try it out or have my daughter try it out before I actually put it in a video. All right, so, and then we I found a couple L'Oreal products. Um, I've seen this one hauled a lot. This is, it says it's new, which new to Dollar Tree, but I don't know how new it actually is in stores. But the Air Dry It Ruffled Body Mousse, um, heat freestyle frizz resistant. It has a strong hold for waves and curls. I don't have curly hair, obviously, but my oldest daughter has really curly hair. And um, this stuff smells good, like clean. I can show. <laughs> She's tried it out. So it's just like kind of a clean, but it's not like chemically clean. Maybe a little fruity, but I can't I can't use it. But she likes it because it's like lightweight and it doesn't make her hair like crunchy, like some curling stuff do, does. So she said yes for this. And then um, I tried out the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. This also says it's new. Again, I don't know how new it is in regular stores, but um, I love a good dry shampoo. And what I like about this one is it kind of goes on cold, which is kind of refreshing. And it just has a clean smell to it and it's not overpowering because I'm kind of like weird about scents. So um, pick that up. And those are full size bottles. And then more on like on the hygiene end is this new Colgate Zero and it has Zero artificial flavors, sweeteners, preservatives, and colors. And then it's clear gel spearmint. And I love spearmint. So I picked that up. And Colgate is my brand. I absolutely love Colgate. I will pick Colgate over Crest every day. And then this is what we normally use, which is the baking soda and peroxide and whitening. So nothing super fun, but just the 60% more for free. So I picked that up. <sighs> some more um hygiene stuff so i hadn't seen these these are by jenju beauty and um korean super beauty and this is a five step travel kit vacay glow made in korea and i picked up a couple of these because i'm going to keep one and try it and then i'm going to put one in the giveaway bag so there's already a couple things in there, but what I, what this is so cool. Okay. So it has it in steps. So you can see step one is the cleansing oil. It's made with five oils, rose hip, olive, argan, rice bran, sunflower. So it melts away makeup. And then two is the foaming face wash. And this packaging is so pretty. So super clean and it's with yucca. And then three is the toner which balances skin and it's with prickly pear. So down here, just look at that packaging though. It's so cute how it folds up like this. And then five, uh, no, four is the avocado sheet mask. So it says super moisture fiber mask. And then five is the hydrating cream with agave. But how cute is that? So it's a whole little process. And they had a bunch of these. And um, so they are all have perforated edges. So you can just tear them apart. So one is going to y'all. Excuse me. Oh, allergies are so bad. One is going to y'all. And one I'm going to keep for myself and try out. So like I said, I'm slowly going to be building up this bag. Okay, so this was a um, this was a wish list item of mine, um, aroma diffuser, and because it's for my oldest daughter, 
Um, I haven't tried it yet. So, but it just needs batteries to work. So, if y'all have used this, let me know. What I like about this is that it's so small. Look how tiny it is. It's so small and it, that you can travel with it. So you just need two AAA batteries for this little sucker. So, yeah, super cute. So we're gonna test that out. I'll have to let y'all know. I might post like a picture of it on Instagram and Facebook. So keep an eye out for that. And then this was a wish list item and I only found the white one. I didn't find the black one. So I'm kind of like disappointed. But the little trinket jar. So I'm still on the lookout for the black one. And I know this is an older item, but I have the hardest time finding stuff like this at my stores. I don't know if it's because they get snagged up super fast. Or if it's just because I live out in the middle of nowhere. So, um, yeah. So I'm still looking for the black one. Because those are like my two colors in my house. And then, um, this was another like wish list item because I'm a neat freak. But I picked up th three of these wipes and I'm already using a package of them. Cause I was almost out of disinfecting wipes, like the tubs that I had left over. So I wanted to pick up these, but you get a hundred wipes in this. And the cool thing about these is it's not um, super thick and they're not like super wet, which is really nice. So, um, because like when you go to like wipe off your phone or something like that, I like using stuff like this, but you can use it for home, office, vehicle and travel. And it does get sticky stuff up really well. I used them wiping down behind people for my son's birthday party this last weekend. So, picked up three of them. I only have two of them not open right now. But yes, these I'm actually really loving. They smell kind of like, um, they're 75% ethanol wet wipes. but And so they smell like alcohol. So that bothers you, of course. Like, I wouldn't recommend it. But I look... I love the smell of like alcohol and bleach and fun fact about rubbing alcohol if you're nauseous take a little sniffy sniff and it helps take the nausea away so okay so I got these this is the bonus pack they normally come in a two pack but every now and then you can find the three so I use these for I mean wrangling anything when it comes to organizing cords um, and things like that earbuds um, my kids have cases like this for school to keep their earbuds in so they don't get cr crushed in their book bags. So, picked up those. I'm sorry, I'm super sniffly. And then another like not so fun item, but I needed and um, is, a, is this a household odor eliminator um, by Arm & Hammer. I'm actually gonna be, um, I need to put one in my fridge, one in the bottom of my trash can, and one in the bottom of my son's diaper genie. And they last 30 days, so I'm hoping by the end of this 30 days that I do not have to put another one of these in a diaper genie. Because he should be potty trained. He regressed recently in the potty training process, and so I'm hoping to get him back on board so that that diaper genie can be removed from my house and I never have to see one again. <laughs> Okay, so not so fun item, but um, I love baking soda. I use it in a lot of different things. Okay, another like uninteresting product is the lavender scented 40 bags. These are the four gallon bags. Um, I use a lot of like grocery bags in my um, bathroom trash cans and stuff, but um, I used to use these and so when I saw them I was like man I kind of want to go back to this because I like having something a little scented for the bathroom trash cans um so I picked up these so I didn't really get any food items but I did get these drink mixes I've seen many people haul these and I'm kind of like oh I don't know about this but um I'm going to try it. I haven't got to try it yet, but I think I'm going to try it at work because I drink a lot of water at work sometimes. So it comes with six sticks in it. And then I'm also 
I got this for my husband because he likes citrus. I got the citrus punch for this. Um, and then this is something like newer in the party section. This uh, plastic table cover. This sparkly one. And so I went ahead and snagged up two of these because I was nervous that this was going to be just a temporary one. It wasn't going to be something that was going to be staying in the party section and my middle daughter's birthday is in winter and um she loves like this all the sparkly stuff for her birthday so i wanted to snag these up for her party and then also in the party section for my oldest daughter her birthday's coming up and she's gonna have like tropical like high end tropical whatever but with gold accents and so i picked up this really pretty gold happy birthday banner and that's the lettering on it really really pretty so i think this is going to go really good with the tropical green and then i picked up a couple of these vases i i could be wrong but i haven't seen these before so y'all let me know like i said some of mine are just lacking in something so i picked up two of these actually for some little floral arrangements and things like that and then you know whenever i do like parties and it's nice to have little floral arrangements in so i thought these were really pretty add them to my glassware also keep like the little bowls, the glass bowl for candles or for florals for parties. I keep a bunch of those in my party tote. And then the last thing in this bag, and by the way, these bags are the Juncture brand. They are like this green, yellow, white leopard print, which I really loved. I found those in there and they're like the big size ones, if you could see. So these I found in like the fun find section that had a lot of stuff for like girls and tweens and things. Um, a lot of bright colors, but this cosmetic bag, there's three of them, three colors. And I guess it's kind of like the holographic. So they have the clear, the blue, and the pink. And I picked those up for me and my daughters. I like keeping stuff like this in my purse to put stuff in um, for my purse. So I always, like when I see little fun finds like this, I like to pick up my girls these as well. So those were really cool. I hadn't seen those. Those were something new. And then now I'm going to switch my bags. So I've seen the like kind of like the grapevine wreath with the twine wrapped around it, but I have not seen this wreath. Y'all let me know. Am I like way if I'm way behind? This is a wood blend wreath. Um it actually has like floral garden on it. But I thought this was a really nice size. It says it's 12 inches in diameter, but yeah, I thought this would be really pretty. I mean, just naked, it's pretty. So, but you can use this. This would be something pretty to kind of put for a centerpiece and put some flowers and things in. Not necessarily this type of jar, but maybe like a plain one or some mason jars would be really pretty to do some florals in for a centerpiece. So that's kind of like what I was thinking of um, doing. I have like a fall baby shower coming up. So, okay, so this was a wish list item, but it's a wish list item that I wanted for my daughter's room. And that was these four by six white and gold frames. And I had finally found them. And these were a part of the Mother's Day thing, but a lot of mine nearby didn't get it. So I actually ventured out and found them. So, I like these with a little bit of gold trim, and again, her accents in her room are gold. 
So I picked up three of those for her. And then my daughter does a lot of like baking stuff so, and decorating cupcakes and things. So um, this is actually a ice cube tray, but we're gonna use it as a chocolate mold. So we got these seashells and so we decided we're just gonna slowly collect these to put in her baking bin. So, cause how cute would these be for, on like a vanilla cupcake with light blue icing and then white chocolate shells. Mmm, yummy. So that's gonna go in her baking bin. Okay, so more like crafting stuff. And this was like a wish list item too for me because I like keeping stuff like this. My oldest is getting into junk journaling and my youngest one journals and just with crafting and things like that, I thought this would be fun to have. But this is a paper pack and it's just scraps of paper. Different materials, different thickness, different textures. Um, you got glitter, you have like the wrinkled texture, but I picked up a couple different packs. Some of them have some similar pieces in it, but you can see there's cardstock in there. There's um, I think possibly some foam board and things. And I was like, this would be good to create pockets and things in <clears throat> junk journals or to put things on for crafting. So I picked up a couple of those. And then so then I got some, in the crafting section, I got some more like little tools, this crafter square craft picker, this roller cutter, um, again, like some tools for me and my daughters. And then this is for like a special project I'm doing. So I'm gonna try this out before I do something else. So the wood carving set, you get four tools in it. And so, I'm actually going to be using them. I bought a bunch of these uh, 2.25 inch wood craft cubes. I found some. Um, this is for an upcoming like project. So um, yeah, so I picked up a bunch of these. These were a wish list item too. My friend had got me some and then I also found some at the store yesterday. Um, some ribbon. I'm using this in my daughter's room. We're gonna be spray painting some clothes pens. Um, silver for her room. And putting them on this for pictures, for hanging pictures. And then another crafting thing is I got one of these little cutting mats. So then maybe my husband won't get so mad at me. And then maybe I'll cut straighter. I kind of freehand a lot of stuff still. Um, <coughs> excuse me, some some stickers. Okay, so this one is a wall sticker, and I don't need it, but I picked it up because look how pretty that is. It says love on it with the florals, but it's metallic. All of it's metallic. And um, so either me or my oldest daughter are gonna use it when it comes to like journaling. I kind of use my planner as a journal, I guess, cause I do a lot of my stickers and things in there. So speaking of my planners, I picked up a couple of new planner stickers. So this is kind of like a um, student one. Cause it has quiz, test, study um, on it. And then on the back, it has like pizza party, crunch time, school's out, fall break, spring break, final. So this is kind of like a college themed one. But sometimes I don't use all the stickers on here. And then might give these to save these for my daughter, but I like picking them up when they're new because I like using them. And this is a vacation one planner sticker. These have a lot of little fun colors and designs on them. 
So staycation, reservation, um, adventure, today, um, dream big. And then they have like the little campers and things on it. And then on the back, a little bit of a glare there. Really, really cute. So I picked those up because I don't have those. And then I also got some fun pens, the little rainbow colored pens. I like these pens. I normally buy the black ones because um, I have to use black pens at work. But I thought the colorful ones would be great. Plus, I love color coding stuff, especially for my family. And so there's five of us. And this would have seven of the bright colors that I can use. So I can use a couple more for like, you know, like a Bills one and then a kind of like a reminder kind of color. So I thought this would be a great addition to my color coding and my planner, which of course then I had to pick up sticky notes. I love their sticky notes. They have like stars and flowers and stuff, but I just like the basic circles. And then I picked up my daughter this weekly one she doesn't do well with a regular planner but um we just got her a debt picked up a desk yesterday and so i'm going to be adding some um thing like a bulletin board over top of it for her so this is kind of like a weekly tear off sheet planner they had two designs that i saw and i've seen a lot of people actually haul these so this was on my wish list as well for her um, cause she has a lot of blues and greens in her room. So I thought this would be great and she could hang it up on her bulletin board. And this is made by Crown Jewels. So this is a great little addition for her. And then I picked up, <coughs> excuse me. I picked up these stickers. So I was like, I could use these for labels or we could use them junk journaling or I can use them as part of my planner. Like I said, I just like having stickers everywhere in my planner. So my planner kind of like, I guess it's like my little storyteller, whereas my girls is their journals. And then these were just hanging randomly on a clip strip. This is Project Life Becky Higgins and it comes with a 40 piece and three by four and four by six themed cards. So I've never seen anything like this before. You can see kind of ones on the back there, but I'm actually going to open it because again, I got this for me, but I'm also, I'm probably going to share it with my oldest one. Actually, you know, I'll probably share it with both of them. Let's be honest. Okay, so I thought these, like, prints. Look at some of these prints on here. With, like, the sherbet background. This one has kind of, like, a lilac background. Ooh, this one's, like, water. They're, like, watercolored. So these are not sticky. So you would have to glue them. But, ooh, some of them are fuzzy. This one's fuzzy beautiful and then there's like a heart one and then they have kind of like some more basic designs look at these and some of them are textured you can write on them look name and date look at that okay so those are the small ones so those are i guess the little three by fours and then the, here's the four by sixes so these would be good like little headers in a journal. Look at that. So you got, I mean they all flow together so you can mix them on a page. I, these would be good for scrapbooking too. They had another set too but they had a lot of brown and stuff in it. Not a huge fan of that. I liked the, the black and the gold and then a little bit of the pastel watercolors mixed in. Look at that. Yeah, you can write a whole thing on that. So these would be great junk journaling, um, scrapbooking. So yeah, so you can see the size difference in those cards there. Okay, so these were these were really cool, but I only saw two different kinds. I didn't pick up the other one just because I knew they weren't going to be used. 
um, because these are more of our colors here. And then this was a wish list item, and so I grabbed three of them when I could find them because I've been to so many different stores and could not find them. And that is the 80 sheet note organizers. It's six by eight and a half inch. And I am a huge to-do list person. I like the fact that these sheets are smaller. So that's when I saw them, I was like, I have to get these because I can attach them inside of my planner if I want to, because I have a smaller little planner. So I can attach these in there. What I also like is that they're double-sided because sometimes you'll find stuff like this at the Dollar Tree and they are only one-sided and the other side is blank. So I like the fact that I can make this kind of like, like a, a daily planner for business stuff, for social media stuff, for YouTube stuff, or just like personal stuff. So I picked up three. I'm using one already for um, like my challenges and things that I do on my Facebook page for cleaning and organizing. So yes, I love these. So if you're a to-do list person and a big note person, like these but i did have to hunt them down the store that i got them from had a ton i picked up three so wish list item found okay another okay so this is kind of like random in here and that was these um sorry six paper trays i got the patriotic ones i actually picked up three and i'm sure people have hauled these before but i was like these would be great for like burgers and fries and things like that and then okay i have i've only seen these in a couple stores and my daughter those gold um little little tea light candle holders the gold they're coming they come in gold and white i had picked those up on a, another haul and i picked her up two gold ones because we tried the little um tea lights well one of them was a dud so i went to go pick up more and i saw these white flower tea lights and i thought these would be perfect and we've already opened up and tested them but y'all i was thinking oh it's just gonna glow like you know like a warm white just like the tea lights no look at this it's like flashes rainbow color so she obsessed with these. So I actually stole them out of her room real quick. But the crazy thing is, okay, so they came in this package. LED, oh my goodness, is it gonna focus? LED flower lights is what it came in. And I could not find anywhere on this package that said that, um, they light it up and they lit up in rainbows so it says the flickering effect okay but the, the flickering effect is in the tea lights too right so because it kind of tried to make it look like a real candle so i was like oh okay you know just the same thing oh no rainbow colored strobe light flowers but these are really cool so we looked out with these they also i've seen purple and pink in these so i don't know if that's something new or just like something new to the stores near me and then my final item is a wish list item. And I have been looking everywhere for these since I saw Chick on, Chick on the Cheap haul them. And I've actually never seen them in, in my stores, but I found them out in Raleigh an hour away from me. Um, so these, these are the like file holders but they look they're like the magazine holders and so I picked up in this print I picked up six because I use them for like magazine and magazine straps again for like collages and dream boards and things like that so but yeah so I found quite a few items on my wish list. I found a couple items for you guys to put in the big bag that I'm slowly going to be building. 
and then of course all the like other little fun things that i found thank y'all so much for watching if you like what you saw today make sure you show me a little bit of love love and hit the thumbs up down below and again if you like videos like this and you want to see more of how i use some of these items in my home be sure to follow me on my instagram organically underscore design underscore and my facebook page <coughs> organically designed and i'll have those linked below as well as always happy organizing and have an amazing rest of your day